Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly and today I have a very exciting review and first impression for you guys. I'm going to be using the Eve Lom Radiance Transforming Mask. I am currently sick with a cold. All of my kids have been sick and somehow I caught it so my skin is just looking yuck. It is looking dull. I have some dark circles, some redness, hyperpigmentation. Like I just, I feel like crap and I look like crap. And I'm hoping that this Eve Lom Radiance Transforming Mask can help me out a little bit today. I've already washed and I toned my face. So I'm gonna get right into applying this before I go ahead and talk about some of the ingredients and what it is supposed to do. The box says that the Eve Lom Radiance Transforming Mask is an intensive treatment that reawakens the skin with a mega dose of antioxidant rich botanicals and a gentle exfoliant for smoother, more youthful appearance. Now I have gone through all the ingredients and done all of my research on the ingredients and I'm going to share that with you guys after I apply this mask. This is supposed to warm on application. You're supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes and then remove it with warm water but you can also use this overnight as an overnight mask. I personally don't use overnight masks just because I don't like to get stuff on my pillow. This mask is super thick. It's like a balm. I've never used this before. It smells very botanical. It smells like cannabis sativa oil, which is one of the main ingredients. I'm gonna apply a really thick layer of this. I'm just gonna kind of warm this up in my hands a little bit so it spreads easier. It's definitely very thick. It feels like you're spreading Vaseline on your face. It is starting to warm. It feels very nice. It's also melting into my skin. This feels absolutely decadent on my skin. It's just a very lovely warming sensation. It's not tingling so far. So I'm going to leave this mask on for the full 30 minutes. I went ahead and rinsed my hands off and I, I have to say that it rinsed off very, very easily with warm water, which surprised me considering all of the emollients that are in this mask. I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the ingredients that are in this mask because I did a lot of research on this particular mask because of the cost of it. Wow, guys, right away, you can see the glycolic acid getting to work on this dead skin around this acne. It's turning it white as though it it's acting like a chemical peel already, which is very impressive. My dead skin there is turning white, which is great. The highest um, on the ingredient list I'm going to start with and work my way down to the lowest on the ingredient list. The number one ingredient in this product is glycerin rather than water, which is great because you're not paying $100 for a tub of water. Glycerin is a really nice thickening emollient agent. It is very moisturizing, very gentle, and very lubricating for the skin. So right away, this mask starts off as a very moisturizing mask, which is wonderful because that is what I need personally. Next on the ingredient list is cannabis sativa oil. So it's just a very gentle moisturizer, but it's a very thick, nice, rich emollient. The next item on the ingredient list is hydrolyzed vegetable oil. So hydrolyzed vegetable oil is very soothing and replenishing to the skin. I know I talked about in the pumpkin enzyme mask video that I didn't really understand why there was hydrolyzed corn oil in it. Um, corn oil is inexpensive, okay? So that's why that particular brand is using that particular oil is because it is inexpensive, it keeps their costs low and it keeps their prices low on the shelf. This product contains hydrolyzed vegetable oil, which is better than corn oil, but really it is a little bit below hydrolyzed canola oil, okay? It's very similar, but the difference between canola oil and vegetable oil is just the fact that you don't really know what is in vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is made from various seeds and plants, so it's just a general oil. 
Canola oil is specifically made from the canola plant. Hydrolyzed vegetable oil is gonna be just a little bit more cost effective than getting hydrolyzed canola oil. Hydrolyzed vegetable oil is still really soothing and replenishing to the skin. It is still a good ingredient. The next ingredient is camelina sativa oil. It contains vitamin E and omega fatty acids, okay? So that's just going to replenish those omega fatty acids in the skin. All of these ingredients are very moisturizing and very emollient. Now the next ingredient is going to be our exfoliant and that is glycolic acid. Glycolic acid has a very, very small molecule that easily penetrates the skin. And what it does is it weakens the binds in the lipids and the dead skin cells. So it allows those dead skin cells to be exfoliated and then it leaves the exposed, live, healthy skin. Glycolic acid is super gentle. It's really good for all skin types. I mean, all skin types. It's good for sensitive skin, dry skin, mature skin, combination skin, oily skin. You sh really shouldn't have a reaction to glycolic acid. I know I personally have even used glycolic acid on rosacea clients with success. If you do have rosacea, you should ask your dermatologist before using any type of alpha hydroxy acid or glycolic acid, lactic acid, or salicylic acid, um, just to make sure with your dermatologist that it's not going to irritate your rosacea. The next really great ingredient is seawater. Now seawater is really alkaline and it's rich in minerals. It's going to soothe dry, irritated skin and it increases the hydration of the most outer layer of your skin. So that's really nice that instead of just water or mineral water, they're actually using seawater in this product. I love that. This also contains hydrolyzed jojoba esters, and those hydrolyzed jojoba esters, they're going to extend the moisturizing properties of the other emollients that are in this product, like that cannabis sativa oil, the uh, glycerin, the hydrolyzed vegetable oil. These hydrolyzed jojoba esters are going to extend the moisturizing properties of those other emollients. This contains tocopherol, which is a form of vitamin E. It is not pure vitamin E, but it has vitamin E activities, so that's fine. Tocopherol is a little bit more affordable for these uh, cosmetic companies to use rather than just pure vitamin E, and it does have good vitamin E activities, so that's why they use tocopherol. This contains rosemary leaf extract, which is a powerful antioxidant. It protects against free radical damage and environmental stress. It has anti-inflammatory properties and antimicrobial properties. So it's gonna help to kill any bad bacteria on your skin while reducing inflammation. One ingredient in here that was kind of new to me that I haven't seen yet is chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid helps to tighten and tone the skin. It's also an antioxidant and it is also an anti-inflammatory. Two more ingredients on here that I wanna talk about are citric acid. Acid. So citric acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that has brightening properties. It's just another gentle exfoliant, but this is pretty far down on the ingredient list. So it doesn't have a whole lot of activity in this product, but it does have some. The last ingredient is copper gluconate. This is not well researched, but it is a potentially anti-aging ingredient that is a powerful antioxidant enzyme, okay? Copper gluconate is going to help protect against free radical damage and has potential anti-aging benefits. We're not really sure because it's not very well researched at this point, but it is kind of new in the skincare scene, a new ingredient. The potential for anti-aging benefits is exciting. Of course, the best anti-aging product is always going to be SPF. Reversing that sun damage is always gonna be difficult, so it's best to avoid it, if at all possible, to begin with. You can really see now this dead skin turning white from that glycolic acid. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this on my skin for the full 30 minutes and then I will be back, we'll rinse it off and see what my skin looks like after this. Okay guys, so it's been 30 minutes and I went ahead and I rinsed off the mask and wiped it off gently with warm water and a muslin cloth and oh my gosh, my skin feels so supple and plump and smooth. It looks brighter. I'm in love with this mask. This is my new best friend. 
Um, the ingredients are just all such incredible ingredients. There was really nothing on there that made me go like, hmm, that's weird, I don't like that. Everything in here is just incredible and I feel like it really does a really good job at exfoliating the dead skin, especially on this acne that I had. That turned white and the dead skin did come off. I feel like it lightened this hyperpigmentation even a little bit. I did notice that. That was noticeable for me. So I have to give this mask 4.5 stars. I'm only taking off half a point. Because of that hydrolyzed vegetable oil, I wish that it had the canola oil rather than vegetable oil. But other than that, everything about this mask is absolutely incredible. If you happen to see this at TJ Maxx, do not hesitate to get this. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase this for the $90 from Sephora or Ulta.com, but I'm so, so thankful that I found this at TJ Maxx and I could try it at such a great price. I believe it was $29.99 um, at TJ Maxx. So if you see it, pick it up. You will love it. You will love the way it makes your skin feel. Um, I, I just feel like my skin is so glowy and radiant right now. I couldn't love this anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.